Two hours before the deadline, this report was filed with the Consumer Affairs Office. The ledger shows the committee has collected a total of a little over $39,000 between August of 1980 and March 31, 1981. Money collected since then will be reported on the next statement. All income was listed as coming from cash donations. In the first quarter, the committee spent about 49% of expenditures for operating expenses. In the second quarter, only about 4%. In the final report, operating expenses can only total 30% of income. After a long meeting with Consumer Affairs Office investigators, the committee's attorney emerged saying he was pleased with the statement. We're in a position to meet back with them at any time to give them the working papers, the underlying uh, substantiation, uh, anything else they want to do. But the next step is for the Consumer Affairs Office to examine and investigate the statements filed today. And Keenan admitted he would not be surprised if the committee was asked to bring in every bit of documentation it had. Consumer Affairs Director Tim Riles confirmed those suspicions and said the investigation would be a sizable piece of work. Uh, we'll ask for uh, affidavits from people who are familiar with them. Uh, we'll ask them for... Um, uh, documentation on some checks that we know exist, uh, that we have copies of, uh, how they were recorded, um, who deposited those checks, and what accounting procedure was set up. In other words, we will be tracing the check uh, through their accounting procedures in order to document the use of it. Ryle said this would entail a countrywide investigation. Today's report was filed about 10 months late, and Ryle says he told the committee's counsel there would be no more such grace periods, that the next report scheduled to be filed should be filed exactly on time. And Ryle says there will be no opportunity to amend the statements filed today. Now it is up to his office to see if the committee is in compliance. If we found some real flagrant uh, violations and omissions, um, I probably would move to have their registration revoked, uh, the effect of which would be to uh, stop their fundraising in the state. Hank Phillippe, Action News.